Hey guys, kind of a longer video than normal. I just wanted to make a laid back video without a script, so I'm just gonna ad lib. I uh, just wanted to showcase a variety of content that the Cyclone build that I made for this league can perform. Right now I'm on Cortex, I'm just wandering around just killing mobs. You'll see on Mob Clear this uh, build is excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and fight Kavas. And so, longer video than normal, my first build guide of the league. Wanted to showcase a variety of content that this can do bosses, this can do mobs. It's a fun setup, it's not super uber viable, but my builds never really end up uber viable. And that's okay. I feel like a lot of the meta can handle it. You have to really create a build designed for uber bossing. I did beat uber shaper on my Stormbrand build from last week. But you can see, Kavas, um, if it's not uber, no problem. Of course, you never actually get a bottled fate. So here's Maven. This build is really good at farming Mavens. I've been farming Maven with it. So, starting on the vital phase here. Just gonna show unedited run, no speed ups. Just so you can see what it's really like if you wanted to try this build yourself. Build is uh, fairly inexpensive. There's a few high level items. I will get into that at the end. The thing about the Maven is, um, if you know the mechanics, uh, it's a fun fight. I really enjoy this fight. I like it a lot better than Cyrus. I like the Shaper fight too. I like the Elder fight. I like the Uber Elder fight. Some fights like Cyrus I just don't enjoy doing. But that's the great thing about PoE, right? Is the variety of bosses you can choose to farm or, uh, you know, just engage in. Test your build. Test your setup. Test your gear. That's what it's all about. We do triple curse, if you count the mark, and I'll get into the details. I'm going to show a second one. I wanted to show two Maven defeats. I had looked over what fell by pressing uh, Alt, because I was working on the loot filter at the time. I think I was working on the 2.0 version at the time. Yeah. Easy to farm Maven. Here's what it looks like if you open a strong box next to Harbingers. Here's 16. This is actually a Maze of the Minotaur with mods you can see on the side. I like to always showcase with a Minotaur. It's a good it's a good baseline to demo. As everyone knows, it's a relatively difficult fight. Um, if you can't beat the Minotaur, your build needs to work, pretty much. You know, Breaches, Legions... Whatever you enjoy doing, blights. Still as good at those. I'm not a big blight, big blighter, and so this is just. I've been working on breach because of the changes to breach. Uh, I think this build could do delirious maps. I haven't really worked on it. I was putting a lot of points into breach and harvest. Running harvest is no problem. Great way to collect life force. Good life force harvester. Throw another one here. I really should try not just deliriums, but um, delirious maps, like 60% delirious with currency or dip card orbs. I think uh, that might be a way to actually generate revenue. Always dodge those green balls. Here's the Minotaur, walking in, Maven Witness. Pretty tanky builds, good armor. Uh, excellent life pool. So, attempting here, an Alked Eater of Worlds. It wasn't enough, I wanted more, so I slammed and re-rolled, got higher quant, higher rarity, more mods, temporal chains, more monster life, better demo. Now this build cannot properly do Uber Eater of Worlds, but a lot of people that make their own builds can't do that. Like I say, you have to really play some kind of meta. But otherwise, besides the Uber, besides, well, I mean, not counting Uber Elder and Uber Atziri, besides those, um, besides the regular Ubers, probably Uber Shaper it could do, actually. But Uber, Uber Elder, Uber Searing at Sharp, Uber Eater of Worlds. If you want a build that can do those, 
this is not the one. But still a fun build. This could do five ways. I think this could host five ways, possibly. If I got the Chaos Res a little higher, which wouldn't be too difficult, you'll see at the end. I could I could stack Chaos Res more if I wanted to. My gear is good. It's nice. It's, it could be more optimized, of course, given enough investment. Because, you know, we could do a little more... We could squeeze a little more DPS, but... We would lose a little... You know, you can go Glass Cannon. I could get more DPS easy, but I would lose some of the Life Pool. I like the Leech and the Life. I like that balance. I like a build that can do most content. I like a build that has that balance between defense and attack. We're playing Cyclone. We're not a, an alternate quality. Ice Golem for accuracy and crit. We use Berserk because we generate Rage very slowly. It'd be nice to have more Rage. We have seven different... Auras, two of them are curses. We have Pride, Precision, Punishment, Dread Banner that we never bother to place because we're too lazy. Vulnerability, Determination. We have a level 1 Vitality, you'll see why. Damage Flask, Crit Flask, Armor Flask, Movement Flask, Blood of the Karui. Is my favorite Life Flask. We use this very high quality at Ziri's Disfavor. Gives my support gems plus 30. To quality. You want quality. You also want quality from the June mechanic on top of it. And you want increased explicit physicals. We use pulverize instead of close combat. I like it better because your feminine scion penis doesn't have to be right up in their face. Awaken melee physical damage support. We use this anomalous cast on crit uh, because of its quality only. Because of the quality of the axe we get 50% more damage. Not increased, but more, even though we have no spell that it's connected to. One ring for negative three to channeling cost, another ring for the same. This one has res, the first one gives us power charges. Astral Plate, extra curse, fizz damage reduction could be better, but I like the life and the armor. You want high life, high armor, Astral Plate, helmet with cyclone damage, and you want mana reservation efficiency. On the Eldric Implicit, we want the double in presence, which has... Uh, free punishment and vulnerability blasphemies. And so we get three curses because we also have Whispers of Doom on the amulet. Poacher's Mark is the mark that we use for life on hit and fizz reduction. Dash, uh, these boots uh, drop sap ground and uh, increase crit chance if you haven't crit recently, very nice. Of course, movement speed. We also put res and attributes that we might need. Rysalata's Coil. Uh, in a perfect world, this would be double corrupted with Crit Multiplier and Pride Effect, but you want um, Pride Effect. You also want as minimum to the less minimum as possible, and then as maximum. <laughs> you know, the high maximum, low minimum. Here we put Overwhelm, Uniques, uh, some more Max Res, just High Armor Gloves. Ice Golem with Culling Strike. Always put Culling Strike on your Golem if you don't have Culling Strike. Steel Skin for Bleed Immunity and Reduction. Here's where we put our Pride, Precision, Determination, and an Enlighten. In a perfect world, this would be level 4. Berserk. Uh, I would love if my Xeris Disfavor also had Supported by Rage Support. That would be perfect if it had the quality and the fizz and that. Now here's where we have Vitality. Because of double damage with Pride, but also life on hit with Vitality. Triple damage here. Over here, you want to get a Lethal Pride, which has 17,960... It doesn't have to be under Rakiata, because we don't take any large keystones. But this gives us strength everywhere for more life and melee. And then it gives us all these melee and crit boosts and two of the 5% double damages and plus max fortify. It's a great number to take advantage of. We're a champion for fortify, free fortify without fortify support, and then intimidate, and then extra damage with taunt. Juggernaut for accuracy, cannot be chilled, cannot be stunned, and our endurance charge generation. Saboteur, the new Saboteur node, cooldown recovery, increased area damage. By using Forbidden Flesh and Forbidden Flame, that's how we get the uh, triple ascendancy on our Scion. This large cluster dual 12 socket, axe node, all attributes mandatory, attack speed, increased effect. In a perfect world, instead of evasion, we would have life. That would be perfect with life. Very difficult to roll all four. Got the three I needed. Life Mastery, more damage, want to hit 5300 life. Uh, pretty good armor resting, with Flask goes up even more, with Endurance Charges hits almost 90. 76% across the board. Our Pantheon, we take this only for Freeze Immunity. Sold the Brian King just for Freeze Immunity. 
so that we're chill, freeze, and stun immune. And I take Soul of Shikari. I never bothered to get the low guy. I just never bothered. <laughs>